is fantastic. And she just did a Sports Authority commercial. And she's in Acme Theater's OMG TV. She's here for you right now. The wonderful Sarah Stedler right here. Sarah Stedler! <laughs> Texas, where there's a lot of big blondes with fake smiles. Then, I moved to Colorado, where there's a lot of big blondes, but with fake boobs. <laughs> and well now, I live in LA, where there's a lot of big boobs with fake smiles. <laughs> okay, maybe there are some differences, like in Colorado, people drive badly when there's five feet of snow, and in LA, People drive badly when there's five drops of rain. <laughs> so whenever I tell people that I'm from Texas, they always ask me if I ride a horse to school. <laughs> no, this isn't the 18th century. We're modernized now. I ride a tractor to school. <laughs> when I tell people that I now live in LA, they always ask if I see famous people. Oh yeah, I go to Brad and Angelina's house all the time. <laughs> they even let me babysit their kids. They pay me a dollar per child. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll be a millionaire. <laughs> then I get to drive them around LA and my beat up Honda Civic. Whenever we arrive somewhere, it looks like the circus just pulled in. Okay, that was a lie, but that's the great thing about stand-up, is you can lie as long as there's a laugh at the end. <laughs> I learned all my lies from my parents. For example, I'll be watching TV and my dad will kick me off to watch football. And my mom will say, oh honey, he's just exhausted from work. <laughs> yeah, mom, dad really exhausted those six cans of beer. <laughs> Or when dad notices mom's new dent on the back of her car, she just goes, oh, um, someone ran into me in the grocery store parking lot. Oh yeah, dad, that metal pole came out of nowhere. <laughs> so you guys wanna know something really, really embarrassing? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I'm turning into my mother. <laughs> identical, but now I'm doing everything she does. I used to get so annoyed when she would talk to people in other cars as if they could actually hear her. <laughs> and now, and now I find myself going, oh, excuse me. Oh, thank you. Uh-oh. Was that a metal pole? Don't worry, I won't tell Dad. <laughs> Actually, I'm not much of a liar, you see. I went to an all-girls Catholic school, and they were serious about this all-girls thing. I couldn't even bring a picture of Nick Jonas to put in my locker. But for some reason, they let me put one of Clay Aiken. <laughs> you see, I was not like the rest of the blondes who were cheerleaders. I played real sports, like field hockey. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. Field hockey, that's just for girls. I'll have you know that field hockey can get pretty intense. I mean, yes, we do wear skirts, but I'd like to see you score a goal without getting mud on your skirt. You, I'd like to see you stand up and score a goal without getting mud on your skirt. That's what I thought. Well, the ballet says that my tractor is taking up four parking spots. <laughs> so, I guess I should probably move that. But you guys have been great. Thank you, everyone.